Hi, it's Corrine, and today I'd like to share a completed wedding album with you. I do have a full start to finish on this album that I will play in just a moment, but for those of you who do not wish to stay tuned for the process of it, I will do a quick flip through of the album. I'm using a gorgeous paper collection from Knitwit Collections. It's called Dearly Beloved, and it is a wedding themed collection. It has a lot of wedding um, elements to it, but the paper itself is absolutely gorgeous. It can be used for many other things besides wedding, which I'll, uh, I think you'll see here in just a moment. If you've never used digital, once you purchase the collection, it is yours to print out as many times as you'd like. You can um, also manipulate the papers, uh, customize them, and I have a video that goes into great detail on that. I'll put that down in the description box below, along with a mini album tutorial of a very similar mini album. It's just a different size, and I walk you through how to make a mini album. So let's get started. On the front here, I have this gorgeous uh, flower paper that comes in the collection and you get tons of papers in the collection. If I had to guess offhand, I'm going to guess that you get about 50 different papers and some of them will be the same design but different colors so you can choose what color scheme you want to go with. Also, say this flower paper, you can make the flowers really small, large, like I said, you can man manipulate them in so many ways. And you can do that, my video shows how to do that in the Silhouette Cameo, but you can do that with your Cricut with Photoshop, with Word, Paint, whatever you have. If you have a printer, you can print out these elements and papers and cut them out, or you can have your die cutting machine cut them for you. So I have this cut from, I believe this is from the um, online silhouette store. I'll try and leave a link for this as well. And as you can see, it's a wedding cake. I added the paper collection to this before I cut it out and it comes with a bow, but I wanted a 3D bow. So I added this little heart paper and these stripes. I added some beautiful sweetheart blossoms and some gems in the back. Let me give you a close up of that paper. So I love that everything coordinates together. I use the sentiment that says from this moment and I backed it on with some solid paper that is similar to this so it all matched. I used some beautiful rose trimming that I got from Saw Crafters a long time ago and I added some um, flat back pearl trim in ivory and I absolutely love this. This Mr. and Mrs. comes in the collection, so I added it on this very soft paper. I backed it on the same coordinating uh, brownish color paper with this brown stripe paper, and I popped this up in between. As you can see, I added some flat back pearls, and I love that it, when this is sitting on a shelf, you'll be able to see that. So I wrapped my trimming around and added the same flat back pearl. And look at this is probably one of my favorite papers in the collection. It's absolutely gorgeous. So for my album, I used Kathy Orta's Hidden Hinge Binding System. I just did not add the flaps on either end. And as you can see, I made my album out of black cardstock. I thought it went stunning with this um, collection. So when you open it up, on the front here I have a bracket style waterfall that these can lift up in photos or journaling can be added. And this is not adhered down, so if the person wanted to take all of these off, they can do that. The last one is adhered down, but the rest of these can come off so they can journal, add photos, whatever they'd like. I added some ivory satin trim or ribbon. And on this first page here, this was just a very soft flower paper that I added a cluster of flowers to it. So you can, they come with pre-made cluster items that you'll see throughout. So you can just print them out and go, or you can customize things how you'd like. So I wanted to customize this paper here, so I added one of their flower clusters and one of, one of their digital stamps that says, every love story is beautif beautiful, but ours is my favorite. I added a really pretty heart um, pearl embellishment. Sorry, I'm in a little lost for words today, I guess. On this first page, I did a photo mat for a two by two photo using that striped paper. And in the back here are journaling cards that come in the collection. I went ahead and printed out two of them with different colors to give myself a mat. 
And here is one of those flower clusters. It's a little bit different than this one. And I cut that out, popped it up on 3D to give it some dimension, added some sweetheart blossoms to it and a pearl heart in ivory. So if you can see that has some dimension to it. So I love that they give you both pre-made stuff and separate pieces so you can design it how you'd like. I cut a bow from the Cameo from the same paper collection and added another sentiment that says forever begins today and I back that on some coordinating paper. Every pocket has a large bracket style pullout mat. Lots of photos can be added either small ones or two large photos. So this album will hold tons of photos. The inside pages are seven and a quarter by six and a quarter. On this side I have a pocket where I use some really pretty organza trimming and I added a different cluster of flowers again with a, another sentiment that says you and I together, some sweetheart blossoms and this pocket will hold lots of photos in it. I have a mat that I back, backed on some black cardstock with some flat back pearls and using that gorgeous paper. And here's one of their paint chips. I love that, that they add these to the collections. This is just absolutely adorable. So I like to add these to pockets that are great for journaling or just for decoration. On this side I used a beautiful ornate frame and again I cut it from the same paper collection. To the center I added one of their digital stamps that says this is our happily ever after added some flowers and some pearls, some sparkle embellishments. And the top of this is left open. I cut out a template for the person that receives this album. They can place this directly over their picture, cut around it, and then slide it right into this. I just kind of tuck those since they're not pretty to look at. I tuck those in the pockets. And I want to show you a quick tip. When I am gluing down, say, flowers to this frame that I want to leave open, I have these nonstick sheets. They come in with your ATG tape that you get. They, they come in rolled around each tape, so I save them. I use them for tons of things. So when I'm going to glue it down to a frame like this, I tuck that in, and then I just glue with hot glue my flowers down, give it a minute to dry, and then I can pull this out, and, and that ensures that the mat or the frame stays open so the person can slide their photo in. So again, every pocket, I won't pull these out, but every pocket has one of these pull-out mats. On this side, this is probably one of my favorites. I have this gorgeous flower cluster that I backed on some black cardstock to give it some strength, and a photo can be placed on this page. And look at this adorable tag that I made, or mat that I made. It comes with these tuxedo in this wedding dress, so I popped up the wedding dress slightly, added some embellishments, I tied on two little wedding rings and then I use the sentiment from this moment and on the back a photo can be placed. So I had the cameo cut these out for me but they're easy to cut out by hand. I do that as well sometimes. On this side, this here, this um, shape actually comes from one of their other paper collections and I think it's the hydrangeas collection. But I love that I can coordinate and match their collection. Some of their collections match beautifully, so you can incorporate other collections together. So I cut that out. It has a beautiful stamp on it. I added flat back pearls, and I did cut out several of them, of them to give them strength. And it has a beautiful sentiment on it, so photos can be tucked behind here. And I made two mats for it. I love these came in the collection. I backed them on some black cardstock. I added these sentiments directly on my paper before I printed it out. And then I purposely cut the hearts out separately and added them just so it gives it a little bit of dimension to it. Forever begins today and celebrate love. So those just tuck in here. And look at this adorable little purse. Um, I made it into, I added a little embellishment and I made it into a little journaling card. So I just cut out two of them. I scored it and glued it at the top and now it can be opened and journaling can be placed in it. And it just makes for an adorable embellishment. On this side I love this bracket pocket. I designed that in my um, Cameo and I printed out this paper here which is so beautiful. I love it. But I wanted to add something more to it. So this little heart cluster 
Again, you can cut that out separately, but I just added it to the paper along with this digital stamp that says a true love story never ends and then printed that all out at one time. So it's basically I made my own paper with it. I added another one of those little pearl hearts. Look at this heart paper in the back. It's so cute. So to the pocket, I added two mats. This one has wording on it. Not sure how well that'll pick up. Added some flat back pearls. And this one, I added some beautiful flowers to it. On this side, I made a belly band. And here's a perfect example how you can customize it. You can see the size difference. I knew that I wanted this to go over my belly band, so I just sized it up to fit the height of my page and the width that I wanted. On here, I added a bow from the collection and a black enamel dot. And here's another example how you can customize it. On the back here is that striped paper. Here I use the same striped paper, but I, I turned it diagonally, so it gives it a little bit different look. I have a larger mat with some flowers, then a smaller, and then I have this little tag, again, perfect for journaling spot. Photos can be tucked behind this belly band as well. On this side is a accordion mini album. This here is a journaling card that came just like this. I added the sentiment to it and I gave myself a shadow of black and cut it out. I added some satin ribbon and when you open it up, this comes out to give you a, an accordion for tons more photos on the front and on the back. On this side, I added some beautiful flower trim with organza um, trim on top, and I added some of those ivory pearl hearts. To the pocket, I added two mats, one with a bow and a pearl teardrop, and another with a little flower and diamond flower with a pearl in the center. Look at this paper. This is that same paper with the wording on it, but I sized it up quite large, so it showed a little bit better. So as you can see, this, this could just be a, a love uh, anniversary album, lots of things you could use this album for, or I said album, um, paper collection is what I meant. On this side is this gorgeous frame. This actually comes in the collection. It has these little eyelets that you can either have your machine cut out, but I left them as white. I thought it was so pretty. And I did do several layers, probably three or four layers, again, to give it stability. This will hold, I believe, a 4x4 four four photo that will just slide right in there. And look at this adorable tag. It comes in the collection. So I just printed that out and tucked it behind here. This is one of the sentiments. It says husband and wife, another little bow, and some flowers. On this side, again, this is another element that comes in it. There are several different ones with different patterns. I chose this one, backed it a few times to give it stability, added some flowers, and this now will hold some photos behind it and these journaling mats. This is one, one that already comes just like that. On this page, I did another bracket pocket and I made my own paper. Again, I used the paper that comes in the collection, I added a digital stamp, I added a ribbon, and that flower cluster to customize my own paper for that pocket. I added two more of those pearl hearts. And to the pocket, I have several little mats. I love this striped paper. This mat, this adorable paper, I added a bow, as you can see, with a pearl, flat back pearl center. This comes in the collection, so I back that on some black says from this day forward. And this one here is probably my absolute favorite element that came in here. I added it on this mat, as you can see, with the sentiment that says, forever begins today, just married. And look at this gorgeous pocket watch. I added some glossy accents to it. Absolutely love the way this turned out. I sort of forgot about this one and did this right at the end when my album was done. I, I remembered that I wanted to use this in the album. I would have probably somehow incorporated this on the front of the album. It's so pretty in my opinion. And on this side, I made a large photo mat. As you can see, I added um, some pearl trim around the entire outside. 
a photo can be placed in this pocket and it has a little uh, black pocket here so it can slide in. I added this tag here, backed on some black. Another little journaling spot, this is our happily ever after, and I had an extra one of these so I thought I would just throw that in. I couldn't bear to throw that away. And as you can see I added some flowers, pearls, and leaves in this little cluster. So those just tuck in there. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Check out the description box for more information and stop by Knitwick Collections. They have tons of themes to choose from, not just wedding. They have tons to choose from. Thanks so much for stopping by.